Hi, this is Julie with Three Sisters Sundries. Today I would like to decorate this book with you. This is a Doodlebug mini album keychain. Um, I got this at the Doodlebug warehouse store. I don't know. It's here in my um, near where I live. This one I would like to decorate for spring. So I have pulled out some papers. I have this paper pad, 6x6 six Doodlebug pad called Fairy Tales. I have some papers. I don't remember. I got these at an... I don't know where I got these, but these are Smitten Kitten or Kitten Smitten. I think that's what it's called. Papers. Um, those are 6x6 six six also. I also have some 12x12 12 12 papers, and I don't know whether I'm going to cut into these or whether the designs are small enough or not, but I have clouds. These are all spring things. Clouds. Um, look at these cute jars with the bugs in them. I may have to cut one of those out to use. Um, and this one just has some really cute flowers with cut aparts on the back. And then I just found this is just an extra one. Sweet Spots cardstock. Oh my gosh, from 1992. That's an old paper. Um, with just some cute spring color polka dots on there with glitter. Then I also have just some scraps that I have um, been saving. I have these chipboards. Um, these all came off a 6x12 sheet, but they all fell out. So, And they're supposed to be adhesive, I think, but they're, the adhesive is not going to be good anymore. But I have a bunch of spring ones in there with lots of flowers and bright colors. And then I have this cute washi tape that is uh, clouds and rainbows. I have some little heart sprinkles, some smaller heart sprinkles, these cute glittery sprinkles, and these adorable cloud and rainbow uh, enamel shapes. So let's get started. Um, on the inside cover, it is like seven eighths by an inch and a quarter um, to fill this little cover and it needs to be fairly flat so this is where I'm thinking I might put one of these cute little bugs in a jar I think they would I might even fussy cut one of those and put it on another background paper I've got my little jar cut out. Let me zoom in a little bit. That's so tiny. Might be hard to see. Okay, I have got my little jar cut out and I've decided to use this paper as a background. So um, I've got white with pink polka dots or I've got pink with white polka dots. I think that it shows up a little bit better on there. So I am going to grab my glue. And I'm going to just glue that down. Right in the center. And I'm wondering if I want to put a tiny a tiny little heart or something on there. I think I might. Maybe a blue one. I think one of these blue ones would be really cute. There we go. And then we can slip that in the cover. Slip that in there. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. So tight. There we go. Oh, that looks better. Get in there straight. Anyway, look how cute that is. That's adorable. Okay, on to the next page. Um, I pulled out this one. I thought this was so cute. Little clouds and little um, there's stars in cute colors. And I was thinking that I could put one of these rainbows on if the rainbow will fit in the page. It will, so let me cut my page. The pages are one and a quarter-ish by one and a half. 
Okay, I think I'll just make it just shy of one and a quarter. And then make this one and a half. But I think I'll do it from this thing because I got yucky stuff from the paper pad on there. Okay. Let me make sure this is going to fit in my page before I stick my rainbow on. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much just right. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little rainbow. Okay, just one of these little rainbows. Um... Maybe about right there, and maybe I'll put another heart on there. Uh, let's see. Maybe a little yellow one. Okay, so there's that page. And on the back we just have polka dots, so let's find something to put on there. I also found these cute stickers. Um, these are Tutti Fruity. They're fairly old, but look at that cute frog and that cute little bird and the little strawberry. Oh, and that little toadstool. Oh my goodness, let's see. And then there are these cute little circle icon kind of, oh, you can't see that, circle icons right in here um, that would fit also. And little tags, let me see if this little frog he is pretty cute. Cute little frog. Oh look, he has glitter on his little dots right there. Oh, he is so cute. Okay, and maybe, um, maybe this little flower also that's just a little glittery daisy. There we go. That page is done. That was pretty easy. And we'll slip that in. Our first little page protector. Okay. And then let's see what we want to do next. Um, all these papers are so cute. It's going to be hard to decide. Let me move those over. But I'm liking these little flowers. Or... Um, I don't really want to use balloons because that's too birthday-ish. I really like these flowers too. So let's see what's on the back of that. An orange. Oh, those hearts are cute. Let's let's go with these little flowers. So inch and just shy of inch and a quarter once again. that seemed to fit pretty well. And then an inch and a half. Okay. And let's see. Do we want to maybe put, I don't know, some more sprinkles? Or maybe I'll let's look at what we have in here. Sorry, this is really loud. Oh, there's a cute button, but that might blend in. Oh, look at that little plaid one. That might look cute. Or this cute little tag. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see. Got a whole bunch of other things. That one looks a little long. Oh, I like this one. Hmm. Orange or white? Orange or white? Or oh, there's this cute little green one. I'm kind of liking that cute little thing. Okay, I found some bright pink uh baker's twine so I'm just going to put the baker's twine through there and trim off use these scissors trim off just a little bit 
and then glue that onto my little page. If that doesn't, that's kind of getting lost on that. I'm thinking maybe I might turn it over and put it on that orange flower page or paper. Seems to be getting lost a bit on the flower, multicolor flower. Okay, and while that dries, we can see what we want to put on this other side. Maybe a big heart. Let's see, I kind of like these. These kind of turquoise hearts right here. Maybe we could do a big one and some little ones. Maybe, let's see, what color would look good. Maybe one of these little green ones. And one of these little tinies. Uh, Maybe white in this one. There we go. That will be cute on that paper. And then this on the other side. Let's see if it's dry enough. Feels like it's staying on there pretty good. So let's slip that in here. Maybe have to trim that one down a little bit. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, got that one in. Okay, then we have two more pages. So, let's see. Um, oh, look at that cute, that cute little strawberry. I might have to put that on there, and that looks like it might be just about the right size. But maybe I can just put it, it is, it's the perfect size. So I just need to find a paper to put that on. Okay, on this one, I just decided to go with some plain pink cardstock. And I, it's textured, so I think I'll put this sticker on the back. And try and center it so that just a little bit of the pink shows around the back around the outside and then on the back I think I might go with this little green tag it's so cute and um, I found this cute rickrack although that doesn't show up I do have some white rickrack that would be cute so I think I'm going to put some white rickrack on the bottom there. Grab my Fabri-Tac. And just run a little bead. On the bottom there. And stick the rickrack in it. Grab my fabric scissors. That's probably easier to cut that ribbon with. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. And then we'll put that tag on with a little bit more baker's twine. Okay, and then we'll glue that on, maybe at a jaunty angle. And then I'll trim a little bit of that off. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So we have our little glittery strawberry on one side and our cute little green tag with the Rick Rack on the other. So let me put this one in. Uh. 
Go in there. Why aren't you going in? Oh my goodness. My page split. I have my fuse tool going, so let me go uh, repair this page. Okay, I decided that I wanted, while I was using my fuse tool to uh, fix my pages, I decided I wanted to make me a tiny little shaker. So here's my little shaker element, and I wanted it to be removable. I've, I've made um, the pages into shakers before, but I might want to change the colors of these at some point. So I am just going to add a few little... Here's some kind of pink hearts with little iridescent. Oh, uh, let me see. I don't have a dryer sheet. I am going to run a dryer sheet in here really quickly. I'm going to grab my tweezers, grab the dryer sheet, and stick it down in there. Oh my goodness. And just run that along the inside to prevent a little bit of the static. Okay, so I'm going to just add a pinch of this and a pinch of that. Okay, so there's the little tiny shaker. So cute! So let's put this in. I decided to put that strawberry in the last pocket and put this shaker more in the middle. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love it. <laughs> Adorable. Looks like all the colors <laughs> kind of grouped together in a spot. Okay, so now we just have this back cover and I need to do something more flat. But this purple unicorn, I have this little purple unicorn. So I think I will put that in and maybe just add a sparkly dot or two. That looks like it'll be the right size. So let's, I didn't use my cute washi tape. Okay, let's make sure that we're gonna get a, let's see the measurements, one and a quarter. I'm gonna go just over one and a quarter, because it's, And then seven eighths to that'll give us one little unicorn right in the middle. Make this about well, let me see, let me trim off a little bit on this side and a little bit on the other side, and that will give us our unicorn in the middle there. And then and put a couple of these little sparkly dots. Maybe just two. Maybe a little pink one. And a little green one down here. I don't know if I like that or not, but there it is. Let's put it in and see how it looks. Oh my goodness. Come on, get in there. Okay. I like the little unicorn. So cute. Okay, so, oh, it's very chunky. So here's our little butterfly in the jar. A little rainbow, a little frog with the flower, a cute paisley tag, little hearts, our cute little shaker, the strawberry, glittery strawberry, and a cute little green tag with the rick rack and a little unicorn. So I also would like some ribbon, and I have this cute ribbon I got at the Doodlebug event that came on something. And I also kind of wanted to put some baker's twine on there. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll use the lighter pink one, this, this light pink. 
Baker's twine. A little bit chunkier. Okay, so I've decided that the easiest way to get the ribbon through this little loop right here is to tuck it in the keychain. I can get that in there and then just carefully twirl it around and then it pulls it through. Okay, so I also need some baker's twine. We'll do that separately. Let's see if I can get the baker's twine under there. There we go. And pull it through. There we go. So now I just have to decide whether I want to um, tie the baker's twine separately. I think I might. tie this cute little ribbon right below it. Okay, and then we'll cut our ribbon at a cute little angle. Not so sure I like that baker's twine. I might take that off. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, there's my cute little book. I'm going to hang that on my bag so I can look at it all the time. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.